Hi guys. So I have a couple things I want to talk about and I'm out running some errands so I figured that I would just do this little update because I really as always want to hear from you guys and I hope that this can kind of bring a different different conversation as far as everything that's happening with Colleen Ballinger right now. I'm you know, sometimes people get like topic fatigue and I hope that you guys aren't getting Colleen Ballinger fatigue quite yet just because there's so much to talk about and it's so important. And I feel like because I've been aware of who she is for so long, I have a little bit of a different opinion. Like there are some people who had no clue who Colleen was until last month, which is fine. We all kind of come across stuff at our own pace, but Nevertheless, I hope you guys can hang in there with me. I'm doing my best. And there will be another video, not Colleen related, coming next. So with the Colleen situation, I've seen a lot of people saying that essentially they're, they're kind of excusing James Charles because of Colleen being so bad and everything kind of imploding with her. And I've seen people kind of making comparison videos between the two, and I've seen people ranking YouTuber apologies, and Colleen is basically the worst YouTuber because she has the worst apology because of the ukulele song. And while I understand that her video was atrocious, a mess, disaster, should not have happened, at the same time, I don't want anyone to forget that all of these YouTubers were, quote, canceled for valid reasons. Just because Colleen is the worst, as far as the apology video that she delivered, I hope that people don't somehow start to forgive people like James Charles and Jeffree Star and all of these other YouTubers who have been toxic in their own ways. So I hope that doesn't happen, but I wanted to mention it. The next thing I want to talk about is why I think Colleen will be able to come back from this. Will. Will. I want to make that clear. The reason that I think she's going to be able to come back from this is because I think that she knows how many of her fans are super young and super naive. Because even though she has fans that have aged out of her content. She also has a lot that are currently very young, very naive, and willfully ignoring the truth. You can see it in my comment section. You can see it in other creators' comment sections that are covering this situation. There are so many people that are still, even when proof and evidence is shown, they are intentionally ignoring that because they are just so infatuated and so approving of Colleen and excusing her behavior. So I think that what she's going to do, I think that her plan with all of this is she released the video. And in my opinion, that ukulele video was just a big old F you to Adam, Becky, Johnny, anyone else who she had encounters with in the fandom or in live shows. I think that was her saying, F you guys, I don't care. Because there's so much evidence to back up everything that people are saying. If she did go through every single claim and admit wrongdoing, does she really want to do that? No, because her ego is taking over. Her ego is her brand. It is what has allowed her to get this far. Ignoring the fact that Miranda's inappropriate and based in ableism and has been erased in the past. She has ignored all of that to continue making content because her ego approved of it and her fans continued watching and liking. So I think that the ukulele video was intentionally careless. I don't even know if someone from her team told her not to make a video because I just don't believe a lot of what she's saying right now, but I do think that the intent was to say, F you guys, here's a song and you guys can be upset and make content about it and continue talking about me. 
send more people to my channel to watch my video. Um, I, I don't think that that's a smart idea, but I do think that she is just totally careless at this point in time. What I think she's going to do next is take a break. I'm sorry, I have bug bites on my legs right now, but I think she's going to take a break, whether it's a couple weeks, a month, I'm not sure. Because this is what a lot of YouTubers do. They go on a hiatus right before their channel gets demonetized. They'll come back and hope that by then people will have forgotten or be a little less upset so that they're not spinning fire when they return to their channels. And the reason that I'm so confident in saying that I think that Colleen is just doesn't care and you know, couldn't care less about people calling her out right now is because not only did she deliver the ukulele video, but she's also poked fun at this situation during her live tour that's going on right now. And she just is continuing to move forward. That video could have been so simple for her to simply take accountability, say, I was in the wrong and I apologize to these people and name off the people that she has impacted negatively because intent and impact, two different things. We've talked about that. And she could have closed out the video. It could have been less than five minutes. Then take your break. And at least then people can say, at least she didn't deliver a ukulele video. At least she wasn't singing a damn song. You know what I mean? Bare minimum. I think people would have still been upset, but I think that the outrage would have been half of what it is because of that damn ukulele video. Not only did she not take accountability, but she delivered a fucking song. Wow. So either way, those are kind of my predictions as far as what her next moves are going to be. There's also an extended video that I'm going to include in this. Remember the little kid that reached down her pants for snacks? I, I covered that a long time ago but that's being discussed again. I discussed it again recently and there's her commentary on it. So I'm going to go ahead and include that. And it's really interesting to hear her acknowledge that this little boy was not interested in partaking in her being inappropriate. And instead of allowing him to exit the show and go sit back with his parents, she continued to push the agenda. She thought that him saying no was funny. Like she literally was laughing at the fact that a child would stand up to her and say, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to partake in this because it's weird. And instead of saying, okay, then she tried to get him to kiss her on the cheek and continued to laugh about it. When somebody tells you no, you need to take no as a full sentence. That's your answer. End of conversation. Someone said no. Obviously, if he is not laughing and joking around with you, it's probably because he doesn't want to be involved. Why would you continue to push the envelope unless your ego and pride were running the show? She thinks that everything she does is okay. Tonight at the show, something really funny happened. There um, is a part in the show where I bring up different boys that like Miranda flirts with basically on stage and there's this part where like I try to get a guy to put like his hand down my pants I know it sounds really bad but it's totally harmless and want a cheese ball come on Brandy oh I went for it and today I chose a boy who was pretty young and um he <laughs> Did something I've never experienced before on stage and it made me laugh so hard on stage. It was probably the biggest break I've had on stage like ever because I like it just caught me so off guard because it's never happened before. But usually the people I pull on stage are really enthusiastic and excited to be a part of the show and he just was like not having it. I tried to get him to get like a cheese ball like from my pants and he was like, no, not gonna happen. And he was really serious and I was like, okay, whatever. Like that's not a big deal. So then I tried to get him to kiss me on my cheek and he was like, no. And he was like really serious and like would not do it. So then I said, well, this has never happened to me before. And he goes, well, now it has. So then I just like was like, 
oh my god like he just shocked me and the audience is dying of laughter i'm dying of laughter and he is just serious like here's a picture of me laughing and he is totally serious like not having it and so then he goes i came here to be your friend not your bae <laughs> It was so fun. You know, in that ukulele song, too, this is the last thing that I'll throw in here. She wanted to say how Miranda Singh's content wasn't on the YouTube Kids app. Well, first of all, Miranda's been on, the, been on YouTube since the very beginning. YouTube Kids didn't come along until 2015. So there was about seven years there where she was making content that was being pushed out to kids and the audience in her live shows confirms that there were kids watching her, there were kids buying her merch, she can pull her YouTube analytics, her management team can pull her analytics. Do not like miss me with the kids weren't watching me or parents need to do a better job shtick. I'm done with it. Either way, I wanted to throw this little update again. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I am trying to cover everything as it comes out and hope that you guys aren't fatigued yet. But like I said, another video is coming next and it has nothing to do with Colleen. But nevertheless, for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.